manager of the day, Aditya Sood is portfolio manager at Intrade PMS. Aditya, welcome to, uh, good to have you back. Thanks very much. Uh, welcome to the show. I see that in the recent changes you've made uh, to your portfolio, what intellect design? Uh, can you talk to us about uh, that? Because numbers were disappointing. Uh, the stock did see a pretty large reaction on the back of these earnings. Uh, what, what was the rationale and why do you like it? Sure. So thanks for having me, Prashant. Uh, actually, uh, if you look at intellect design arena, you know, it has got a very unique positioning, you know, because it is uh, earlier uh, competing with companies like Fenestra. Uh, now it is competing with, uh, it is competing with the companies like Temenos, which is a global champion uh, on the product side uh, in the BF BFSI vertical. Now, uh, first of all, the company has a very large TAM. You know, the TAM is closer to 30 odd billion dollars. Uh, uh, the stock has, uh, you know, ever since the demerger happened, the stock uh, went on to becoming a 10x uh, stock. And now what we see is that, you know, the correction has been very, very sharp in the stock. You know, the stock has fallen by close to 60 odd percent. Um, obviously, the market is a bit disappointed by uh, two factors here. One is the growth uh, factor. Because um, initially, uh, you know, the company was guiding for a 25 percent odd growth, which has been downgraded to 20 odd percent, and uh, secondly, the margins. Now we do believe that as they migrate from uh, more towards uh, cloud and being uh, as, as SaaS uh, uh, revenues uh, continue to inch up for the company, they are close to 23 odd percent today. So what we believe is that you know over a three year basis, uh, SaaS can be easily close to 40 percent. And when there is a migration to the cloud, obviously it is a paper use a sort of a model. So uh, we are buying the stock in a weakness. Where we believe that the valuations are very, very undemanding at 15 times uh, uh, one year forward. Uh, so this is purely positioned as a unique play on the uh, cloud side. Uh, we were looking at a lot of companies. Unfortunately, uh, SaaS plays in India are very, very expensive to own um, or or the analytics plays are very, very expensive to own. And that is why we are buying into intellect, intellect on, on a weakness. Okay. Um, Aditya, afternoon, what about Bharti Airtel? You know, the company seems to be firing on all cylinders when it comes to the numbers. India Mobile, even the enterprise business, the homes business is doing pretty well as well. Uh, but that's a stock where you are cutting your positions. Can you tell us why? Yeah, sure. So essentially, you know, Bharti, we have been, you know, two and a half years, uh, it has been a two and a half year old position for us on the AF side. What we find today is that, you know, we would ideally like to avoid companies which have got uh, dollar debt. So that is one of the reasons. Uh, secondly, uh, valuation arbitrage was there. You know, we bought Bharti when it was trading at, when the India business was possibly trading at six times the EV by beta today. Uh, what we see is that, you know, that valuation catch up is behind us. Even though Bharti has done a phenomenal job in terms of uh, the ARPU inching up recently, but we do believe that uh, uh, 5G is not going to be accretive as far as ARPU is concerned uh, uh, because we are in the launch phase and we also already know what is the pricing been uh, for both Jio and Bharti. So that is the reason of you know taking booking some profit in Bharti. It is as simple as that. Okay. Hi, Aditya. So you are booking some profit in Bharti and uh, you have a counter call on IT. And part of that includes intellect design, as you just uh, mentioned. So, you know, viewers should just take uh, note of that. But, you know, Aditya, everyone's very, very bullish on the auto theme, in particular the CV theme. And you have found another way to play it, MM Forgings. You know, that one, in fact, uh, has done pretty well in the last, say, 18 months or so. But the big re-rating will come when the multiple gets re-rated. They have a lot of capacity as well. Tell us, what's the rationale out there? So, Nigel, as you clearly pointed out, uh, autos are cyclical plays. Within that, you know, obviously, this company is predominantly focused on uh, commercial vehicles, uh, more so on the heavy commercial vehicle side. Now, one of the things that we see here is that, you know, India has got a clear-cut advantage in terms of forging because we have got, you know, captive steel mills in India. And second thing is that, you know, it, power and freight is a very, very large component of cost for uh, a, a company which is doing forging. Now, what we find interesting about uh, MM Forging is that, you know, this is obviously they are gaining market share with both uh, Tata Motors and Ashok Leyland in the domestic market. And obviously, there is a there is a global play uh, here as well. So we believe that over a period of time, uh, this Euro plus one is going to 
uh, be very, very beneficial for Indian forging companies. And clearly that gets reflected in Bharat Forge. There are three companies which are listed, RK, MA, uh, MM Forging and Bharat Forge. So we prefer MM Forging because essentially there is a uh, play on more machined components. Uh, machining is a 500 basis point higher gross margin business. Uh, so we expect return on capital as well as margins to improve going forward. The valuations are very undemanding at this point in time. Again, the stock has gone through a bit of a correction. If you look at, you know, last three months or so. So we are buying into uh, it from a re reasonable valuation perspective. Mm. Two more changes. Uh, one is you bought Equitas and you've sold IDFC. Uh, on IDFC, I mean, has the full kind of uh, structure collapse, etc., everything played out uh, to your mind? Uh, so let's start there. Sure. So essentially, you know, again, it is an old stock for us. You know, our buying price was, uh, you know, we were playing the hold code discount. So our, our belief is that, you know, the similar sort of hold code discount is there in the Equitas holdings, uh, which, is, which is there. Uh, the Equitas merger is around the corner. Uh, we believe that there is a, a 20 to 25% hold code discount, which is, which is clearly unwarranted. Secondly, we have been using this filter of... Uh, on the small uh, banks uh, of one and a half percent ROA, and Equitas is now reporting 1.6 percent ROA. Uh, they just reported the numbers yesterday. So what we find here is that you know it is a very well managed franchise, both on the asset and the liability side. Essentially, they have done a phenomenal job in terms of uh, liability, uh, in terms of ha having uh, the casa that they have. Uh, so we believe that there is a similar sort of a valuation arbitrage opportunity and hence uh, we didn't want to, you know, uh, increase our weight on uh, uh, overall weight on financials. And that is the reason we made a switch from IDFC to Equitas. Can you talk a bit about this contra bet that you're taking on IT? Is this just a tactical call and which in the IT, which stocks in the IT pack are looking most attractive to you? Sure. So one is that uh, we do believe that at this juncture, um, we are heading into a macro environment wherein demand is not going to fall off the cliff. cliff. Uh, second thing is that, you know, if you look at Indian IT story, in every uh, cycle, uh, there is a temporary blip. And over a period of time, we realize that Indian companies typically tend to gain market share. So that is point number one. Uh, within IT, we are very, very constructive on engineering, research and design. As a play, so if you look at our uh, large cap uh, companies, you know, wherein we have invested, uh, which is a combination of a company like HCL Tech, uh, they have a majority of their revenues within the la large cap IT companies coming from uh, engineering, research and design. So that is one place we are very, very constructive on. Secondly, uh, Intellect Design Arena, which is a unique company on the product side. Uh, we do believe that uh, demand is not going to fall off the cliff. Secondly, thirdly, the margin, the valuations are very, very attractive in our view. You know, you can find IT companies uh, anywhere between, you know, 12 to uh, 20, 20 times uh, one year forward earnings. Uh, uh, multiples have clearly collapsed. Uh, we don't see a scenario wherein uh, multiple compression in ha can happen in these companies. Obviously, growth will slow down. But uh, our view is that, you know, structurally from a three to five year perspective, I IT companies uh, will do reasonably well. Mm. 